to February and start of another week. And you see British Home Stores is gone now. I think there's a little bit of the wall over there. Oh, we've got these piles and piles and piles of rubbish. Just a tiny little bit left of British Home Stores. Obviously can't knock it down because it's backed up by all this rubble. It won't take much knocking down. You can see the, the height of the rubble, it's six, eight feet if not more. And it's all mixed up with stones and metal. There's all sorts. It's a really big for the pile. So that's basically what's uh, holding the job up. Even down the other end, near the clock tower, you can see how much rubble's still there. What are they going to do that like they did British Home Stores and go on top of it to get the height to uh, fetch the rest down? There's tons and tons of rubbish just to be shifted. Closing off half the road and the footpath ready for doing this uh, clock tower end and all the machines are tied up at the other end so there's not a lot of action so the council wouldn't let them fully block the road so they're just blocking half the road so what they're doing is putting up the barriers I don't think that's going to do a lot and having a smoke and thinking about it. Again it's sort of dangerous because they've got all the glass. I had to clear a lot of the rubble in and sort of flattening it out as though they're going to use it again like the different British homes to get the height on the digger. Probably need quite a lot to uh, get the height for the digger to reach the top bit like we did before. On the 11th of February we've got a couple of machines going here. And we're basically rebuilding out of rubble. Just look how high that rubble is. And just building up mountains of rubble. Back of the clock tower and made a start, they've got the uh, what was left of the old clock and the back's gone. And look at the size of this bad boy. That's some machine that is. Well it seems to be just full of rubble the uh, what they've got there. Probably brought that in because of the extra height. We've got all this area now fenced off and we've got uh, traffic control. It's still very dodgy to fetch uh, this lot down. So far they haven't been able to bring it backwards and up forwards, but should any of that come forwards, it's coming right across. Around the front you can see the uh, height of this uh, bad boy, so they've not really done very much at this at the moment. Swinging around you can see they're still up on the, the rubble, the rubble must be 15 foot or more high now. So the contract is not clearing that off further. You can see the uh, and a little bit of uh, the home stores is still there and the rubble behind it is as high as, uh, as it is and this pile getting higher and higher they were saying they're going to start on the bus station but now it's been stated that the lease isn't up yet so they can't knock the bus station down until the lease is finished. That 
seems to be the lightest uh, twist in the tail. As a side note to the demolition, uh, the old marks and sparks, somebody's had to go and uh, smash the window so you can see inside it's all uh, empty. I think somebody homeless that wanted a shelter for the night. 15th of February and the new building's going up, it's called the Sandcastle. You can see how high the pile of rubble is now. I mean, the barriers must be six, eight feet, and it's way, way above there. There's another one a bit further down. Still the machines are going at it. Got the bad boy working today. Another little twist, I don't know if you can see that. I'm spraying water. Down the, uh, the dust everywhere. This bad boy should really uh, pull things apart. Well, it's going everywhere. See how much has come down virtually like half of where the clock was is now just a pile of rubble. Taking his time with this big machine, I thought he could pull the half that down in one go. But, uh, see, there's a lot of metal work there. Right? See, they've actually got a machine spraying this water out. Not a big call, so why they suddenly decided they want to spray water over it, I don't know. better view from further back. It doesn't seem to be doing anything major the, the other arms that sort of grip the whole wall and pull it down. He's sort of pulling a couple of sticks out at a time. It doesn't seem to have the same versatility as the uh, as the other arm. Because they'll just come over the wall, grip with something quite wide and pull a wall down. 
we've been commenting that every time you know it's another couple of bits of wood. Very, very actually thin arm. What he was doing. See how high the uh, pile of rubble is. Got machines going everywhere. Taking a shot from uh, a good distance and back, and wonder if you can guess where I am. If you've watched the uh, very old YouTube video, Crew of the Ghost Town, which is about three or four years ago. You know this alarm is still uh, going, it must be the best alarm in the world, it's been going about three or four years. The 18th of February and just basically having a shift around a rubbish here. Assuming they're doing what they did before, that they've got to build enough rubbish to be able to get to the height. The uh, big tools stood there doing nothing. And they're playing with another big tool over there. There's no water on today. See all the big skips coming in trying to get rid of the rubbish and there really is a lot of uh, rubbish to get rid of. See, they've now double barriered it, so there's a set of barriers and then another set of barriers taking up half the road. See they're just starting on this far end. It's going to be interesting because this scaffolding is suddenly going to collapse when they get to a certain point. See all the clock towers now gone. And it's on the lower level around this corner. So taking out the top bit apart from the far end. And he's just building himself a ramp to uh, get up there. You can see better from the back how far they've gone now. Top bit of most of that corner has gone. And obviously, the clock tower has all gone. Just swing around and see. Uh, Marks and Spencer's where they broke in has now been boarded up. The rubbish is piling up again, you can see this is just sort of concrete. Uh, it's way over the top of the barrier. And the end of British home stores is still there until clean all the rubbish behind it, there's got no way of knocking it down. They're going to have to clear all that rubbish before they can just take that final bit out. Now we've got diggers working. Uh, the big guys stood there doing nothing. to get the machines high enough to be able to pull it over. The tigger's getting higher and higher so it shouldn't be far off being able to pull some more down once he can get enough height. 
big question is what they're going to do with the site. Uh, seems a lot of controversy about what we're having, whether it's cinema or shops or whatever. I mean, you've got behind me, Marks and Spencer's been empty for ages. There's other shops that are empty. So what makes you think you can film new shops? Crew's been in decline for quite a while. If you go back on YouTube and look at Crew Ghost Town, it's a few years ago now that we looked at uh, all the shops that were closed. And around the other side, there's not really a lot happening. All we're doing is just sorting this uh, rubbish out into various bits. We've got a conveyor belt going there. It's just unbelievable the amount of the stuff that needs moving. It needs to be all sort of segregated into metal, concrete or whatever. It's going to take weeks and weeks to shift all the uh, rubbish. 